Bienvenidos al programa de Wave Gretzky. This week, I'm going to show you guys how to make a tech pack. If you haven't done so already, please click the subscribe button below as well as the bell. I'm trying to reach a thousand subscribers and I know it'll come someday, but every single one of you counts. Now, a tech pack is a blueprint of your design that you have created and is typically given to your printer so that he or she has exact instructions to follow. In no particular order, here are the things you'll need to account for. The tag. Is it sewed on? Is it screen printed? What colors are you using? This includes your shirt and the design. How many different size shirts will you buy? What are the dimensions of your design? Make sure your logo is there so everyone knows at first glance and there is no confusion. What graphics will you be using? What's the style code of the t-shirt you want printed on? Is it Gildan? Is it AAA? And finally, any additional notes or specs that you want to make sure the printer is aware of. Now, let's jump into Illustrator and lay this thing out. For tech packs, I usually keep it to a typical size of eight and a half by 11. Now, if you're gonna be printing this out and giving it to someone, you will wanna use CMYK color mode. So basically, what you're gonna see me start doing here is laying out some kind of theme for this tech pack. This is just a stylistic choice. It can be whatever you want it to be. First things first, you're gonna to wanna to open the file that has your logo and bring that into your tech pack file. Things can get tricky here. If your logo has white in it, you might want to add a black background to it just so they can see your true logo. Now that I have my logo imported, I can now start with the tag. Tags aren't necessary and can often become expensive. So if you're trying to cut costs, you might not want to have a tag at all. Tags can be embroidered on or they can be screen printed. Once you have that squared away, you're going to want to head over to Google and get yourself a t-shirt template. After inserting that into your file, you're going to want to vector it so that way you can adjust the colors. If you really want to get fancy, you can take the time to put different colors in different layers. That way you can turn on and off the viewing so you can see different colors. Organization is key here. Once you have a few things going, you want to make sure it's organized in your layers panel. I use one layer for every action item that needs to be covered. One for the hang tag, one for the shirt, one for the logo, and another for the design, and so on and so forth. Now at this point in the video, I actually went on to complete it, but I wasn't really satisfied with the design. Nonetheless though, we're still taking it step by step. At this point, I'm bringing in the design that I'm actually going to use. Very briefly, I opened up an old tech pack I had just so I could take some of the descriptions. You can see here that I'm using a pink font to point out the dimensions. Again, that's just me making sure everything is crystal clear for the printer. Next, I'm just adding in some notes with my contact information. That way, if the printer has any issues, he can call me directly immediately. Circling back around, I identify all the colors I will be using, just so there's no question. And finally, I bring in the style name as well as the style number. And I also identify which is the front of the t-shirt and which is the back. You'd be surprised how much this can be an issue sometimes. Now, 
now throwing in the details of this design, I throw in the t-shirt color, as well as the colors I'll be using in the graphic. I give them my name for the design, that way in case we're running multiple t-shirts at once we can identify each one properly, and I give the quantity as well as different sizes. Finally, I decide on a style brand for the t-shirt that I want to choose. I'm going with Next Level Apparel and I'm using the style number 3600. Just because I was curious, I wanted to see what this would be like in a sweater as well. So just like how I said what I could do with the colors, I did with the sweater. And I turned them into a separate layer, viewing them on and off just to see what the two would look like. And there you have it. You got yourself a tech pack. You're on your way to making your artwork come to life. You can never be too careful with these things, especially if you're dropping a lot of money into it. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. And if it brought you any value, please consider subscribing. Until next week, my friends, peace.